really quick video just about what's happening at the moment in the country and also in what we've down through the years loosely called the movement. And I think we're at a very, very critical time. There could be things happen that are way beyond our control that change the dynamic of everything. That's always a possibility. It looks like there's going to be a massive labor landslide. And in some way, it may be Nigel Farage and the Reform Party have a hand to play in that. That's neither here nor there. What we're really focusing on is what happens in five years time when the next general election happens. Is it 2029? That's what we've got to fix our eyes on. And the, the reality is what I'm feeling at the moment in myself is, and I never normally get nervous at demonstrations, but there was something about that demonstration. It wasn't nervous, nervousness, it was an excitement, but also a realization that we had to make everything go well. We had to make sure that everything was peaceful. We had to make sure that everything was done in such a professional manner that nobody could could cast a stone at what we're doing. And I think we achieved that massively for the 1st of June. And it was a team effort. And you know, I've mentioned all the people in the teams, uh, in the team uh, on, in previous videos, and they all know who they are. And I think everybody in that team did a, fantas a fantastic job. What does concern me is what we do next and getting the order right and making sure everything is done right as we move forward. And, and my, my roadmap or the, the roadmap I envisage goes something like this. We agree on the ideology. We, we agree on what we believe. We agree on what the mission is. We agree on what our goal is. And then out of the ideology, we build a movement of people that all agree with that ideology. And then out of that movement of people, we build community, we build family, if you like, up and down the country, different parts of the country, pods of thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of people who are connected, they're interconnected, quite separate to anything online. We build a community that can be sustainable. If the, if the worst happens, which I think it can, and it may well do, that everybody under a Labour government gets the plug pulled on them, that we can still communicate and we can still be in in that community we don't lose that community like we did in 2018 so that's that's one of my fears not that these are fears these are things that i think we've got to take seriously and work out ways of of mitigating the other is that that one of us including me does something stupid that causes a lot of damage to the movement and i'm very aware of that as well because the reality is we are all flesh we're all failed human beings with our own problems our own insecurities and our own ways of screwing things up. And I think the best way to mitigate that is to be humble, to genuinely have a have a, a care for one another within the movement. So if one person falls, another one can pick them up and, and another another one can step into their place. But I think once the ideology is in place, once there is a solid ideology in place, then you can move on from that into a situation where personalities and people are massively important. And obviously from, from, from my point of view, I believe that Tommy has a massive leadership mantle on him. He has a massive weight of leadership on him and he is a natural leader and he has to take his share of that leadership responsibility. There will be others without a shadow of a doubt, but we have to get the ideology right first. Then if leaders get taken out in any way, shape or form, whether it's imprisoned or people try and discredit them or whatever it is, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because the ideology still remains. And as long as the ideology is the same, then people can coalesce around the ideology, even if the personalities change from time to time. So I have a genuine concern that there are things that can go wrong and I could well be one of the people that makes mistakes and makes them go wrong. I don't want to, but that's a possibility with all of us because we're all fallible, failed human beings. And I think to mitigate that, we need good ideology. We need strong ideology and we need a genuine love and affection for each other. And I, I, mean, I don't mean that in any slushy or mushy way. I mean, a genuine brotherly and sisterly love where if one of us messes up, people are there to to stand by our side and and and, and help us 
either back into the game or help, help us recover from whatever's happened. I'm just well aware that that can happen where human beings are involved, especially when there's a large number of human beings, especially when there's a lot of ego involved. So that's just a few thoughts. They're quite different to talking about the politics, to talking about what we do next, to talking about demonstrations, to talking about how great things are. It's really just to look at the, the practicalities of human beings in a, voluntary, in a voluntary group where there's lots of personalities bumping into each other and the, the fallout from when that can sometimes sometimes go wrong. But I think what I'm noticing since this weekend, particularly since, since last Saturday, there seems to be a genuine love, a genuine camaraderie, a genuine, a genuine unity and togetherness. And I think we need to nurture that and we need to reinforce that. Uh, and we need to do that round, round a belief system, round values. This has to be a values-based cultural movement. And if you have your values right, you have your culture right, and you have integrity, you're pretty much unstoppable. But it is human to err. So we need to look out for each other and help each other when people do err, as they will do from time to time, because that's what human beings do. Anyway, little bit of a different video, but I think we need to think seriously about how we protect what we're building. And remember, we're going to have some, some pretty horrendous forces pitted against us. The, the thought of a massive Labour majority, the thought of loads of Lib Dems in Parliament, the thought of Islamists in Parliament should fill us all with dread. Yes, the Tories were 100% disaster. But believe you me, what's around the corner is going to be a whole lot worse. And I think there's nothing we can really do about that. I think it seems inevitable especially with Farage stepping into the fray, that there will be a massive, massive uh, Labour majority with all the destruction and damage and and craziness that that's going to bring. So buckle your seatbelts, guys. We've got five years to sort this out. We need to build an ideology, agree on it. We need to build a community and a family. We need to build a political solution and we need to gain power in this country in five years. Not much to ask, but I think we can do it. See you all soon.